So we're still in chapter one. This would be section four, where we start talking about the graphs of the different trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. We're specifically going to look at the sine function, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the tab. I've already opened up the Desmos graphing calculator, and uh, after a while you may want to get on Desmos as well and play around with this. And I've gone to the tools, and I've changed it to radians, and I've made my x-axis so you can see the intervals are pi over twos, and the y-axis is going in steps of one. So let's go back and look. And what we're going to do is plot some points, and the points we plot are going to be based off of the unit circle. So let me see if I can go in here and make a table. The table that we're going to make is the sine function. So I'm going to start by putting 0 in for x. So go ahead and pause and grab your unit circle. So now looking at your unit circle, go find the place of zero radians or zero degrees. If you find the sine value at zero degrees, that's the y value. So sine at zero is the y value, which is zero. So you can see over here on my graph, it's plotted a point. Then I'm gonna try another point. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it up 90 degrees on the unit circle, and I'm going to find the place pi over 2. And on Desmos, you have to just type pi for pi and divide by 2. So go look at the unit circle at pi over 2 and see what the y value is because we're finding sine. The y value at pi over 2 is 1. So now we have a point when I put pi over 2 in for the domain, the x value, I get y. 1. Let's find another place. Let's keep rotating around the unit circle and let's go to negative pi. The y value at negative pi is 0. I'm sorry, I messed up. That is not negative pi, that is pi. And the y value at pi is 0. Let's keep rotating around and let's do 3 pi over 2. So now you're down here on the unit circle, 3 pi over 2, sine is negative 1. So I've kind of got a graph that goes here, and then here, and then here, and then back down. Now then again, if I look at 2 pi on the unit circle, it's the same thing as pi. At 2 pi is the same thing as 0, which is 0. But let's think about what happens in the middle here. What is between 0 and pi over 2? Halfway between 0 and pi over 2 would be pi over 4. And at pi over 4, sine is the y value, which is the square root of 2 over 2. So I'm going to type in square root of 2 over 2. So you can see how that space goes right in here. If I think about what's in between pi over 2 and pi on the unit circle, that's 3 pi over 4. And at 3 pi, I may have a mistake here. Let me just check it. 3 pi over 4. At 3 pi over 4, sine is also square root of 2 over 2. So you can see how it goes up and kind of comes back down. Let's even think what's between pi over 4 and 0. Well, pi over 4 is 45 degrees, so even smaller than that would be pi over 6. Let's see what happens at pi over 6. At pi over 6, sine is 1 half. So you can see how this is going to curve up and down and kind of keep going like this. If we think about going negative pi, so if I rotate it around backwards on the unit circle, if I went to negative pi over 2, sine is negative 1. So you can see how this kind of just goes like this. 
So what we have here is kind of a wave for a graph. And I'm going to go ahead and type in what we found is if the x value was in terms of pi, we would get a y value. And I'm going to go ahead and type in y equals sine x. And you can see how this curve goes right through every single point that we just have. One thing I want you to notice is the domain. The domain is the x value, the input values. Notice this curve keeps going. It doesn't matter what I put in for x. I could put negative pi values. That would be as if I was rotating backwards on the unit circle. I can put in 0. I can put in pi over 2. I can keep going. So this domain for sine, the x value, could be any real number. Anything I can put in for x. Negative infinity to infinity. But notice what happens with the y value. The smallest y value that we get is negative 1, and the biggest y value that we get is positive 1. So even though the domain is negative infinity to infinity, the y value is negative 1 to positive 1. And you're going to investigate in another Desmos activity um, how this graph can be shifted. But this would be what we would call the parent function for y equals sine x.